Hello everyone and welcome to our Midgardy RPG. <laughs> My name is Hikaru and this is Madness, which has been on a brief hiatus uh, that got a bit longer than we expected due to uh, the charity event we had last weekend, which went amazing. Thank you all again for the amazingness that happened last and weekend. Memes. And And the memes. And the Earl treats and the Earl pets. And the Star Worms. And the Star Worms. Definitely the Star Worms. <laughs> um, luckily today the my players do not have to worry about Star Worms getting summoned by hundred dollar donations to Trevor Project. Uh, because they're going to be very tired. But if you want to donate a hundred dollars to Midgardia, we, we could like think about it. <laughs> just just throwing that out there. Yeah. Um I don't think the, the donate links are active though, but you can become a Patreon member if you want to do that. Uh, <laughs> we're getting incredibly sidetracked. But yes, this is our Dungeon of the Mad Mage game. Uh, and my players are currently on level 15, though they have gone as low as 18 this uh, so far. Um, and they're making their way up, up again. Before we begin, I would like to briefly say thank you to our sponsors. Roll20.net has been sponsoring us for uh, over a year now, and they are a really great virtual tabletop solution for your tabletop RPG needs. Uh, it's got Things as simple as just, you know, you want to roll some dice virtually so your friends see you and don't call you out and be like, hey, that can't, that's like your fourth natural 20. Let me see those dice. And you're like, but I'm rolling on the digital tabletop. I, I'm not cheating. I, I assure you, I have not paid roll 20 to roll nat 20s for me. Uh, that is not a feature. However, what is a feature are things like dynamic lighting, which makes, for example, Dungeon of the Mad Mage much more interesting because now you have a dungeon crawl where your players can't see anything besides what they should be able to see in character. And things like Character Mancer, which lets you make characters in, like, what was it? Five minutes? Maybe less if it's a first-level like character. That, yeah. um, really useful. And if it's not d d you want to play, there's a lot of systems, and I mean a lot of systems covered by the community sheets on Rule 20. So check it out. There, if you want to play something else, go play it. Just don't look up Quest yet. That one's not in there. Um, <laughs> so thank you, Rule 20. And um, these are my players. Hi, I'm Garmrake One, and I play Torch. He's a Fire Ganassi investigator. Yes. Yes. Um, so Fire Ganassi Investigator, he hits things really hard with a weird whip cane, thi whip cane thing that is not directly ripped from any sort of game specifically developed by From Software for the PS4. Zio? Hi, I'm Zio. I play Remy Susanna. She is an arcane domain cleric and a protector Azamar. And she's just doing her best to keep these idiots alive, but mostly one very specific idiot who she's stuck babysitting. Relatedly, Pi. Oh, snap. I totally forgot what order we we go in. That's how long this has been. Hey, I'm Pi, and I'm shoving pasta in my face, which is why my can pop. Um, thanks, guys. It's always during dinner. Anyway, I'm playing Omitra Cottery, and I am... I was going to say an idiot. I mean, it's not inaccurate. But I'm a, a, a Sorkalock, and uh, I only just discovered that I can't. I could have been like making warlock spell slots and then turning them into sorcery points and then turning them into sorcerer spell slots, and now I'm sad because then my DM said no. F. Show. Hi, I'm Sho. I play Tetran Asar, the College of Masks Bard, Wizard, Archaeologist, Winged Tiefling. Good lord, I forgot when I needed to take a breath for this. Um, and the Troublemaker. What? And this is Earl, who likes being whiny as we go live, because it's like, it's Mom, how dare you talk to other people that are not me? 
So, does anyone remember what happened last session, or did you all just cheat and read my recap for you instead? Using the provided materials is not cheating. I, read it I have I notes. I just have a weird memory with this kind of shit. <laughs> okay, I have notes, but I, it also says that the last time I had notes was May 22nd, and I don't actually know if that's accurate because it's been like a while. But also, I don't also don't know what I had for like lunch two days ago, so yeah. time is irrelevant. Yes, yeah. that is accurate. That because is accurate. June, we did not have any games. We took a month long break, and then we were going to have it the start of July, but we decided not to because it didn't make sense to be you know one week July. Then our charity stream. So yeah. Oh yeah, I have the date is accurate. Notes written down. Thank you very much. I'll even turn my cam on for this. <clears throat> I need to see this. Uh oh. Yeah. Maybe. Come on, Cam. Come on, Cam. Get on. Pretty, pretty please. Rip. Rip. Yeah. Oh no, Cam. Just Why? black. Cam's like, oh, oh, now you want people to see. Oh god, no, I didn't. Oh mean no. To do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, well, guard. Your cam, your cam okay. works now. All right. Omitra teleported away into a spare room where there was one skiff. Open the door. There's another beholder. Sigh. <laughs> Omitra teamed up with beholder two to go beat up beholder one. Note, stupid Remy betrayed my floating grape. I'm not speaking with her, bitch. <laughs> she claims her healing failed. It did. Oh yeah, uh, teleported into Frey with Torch and uh, far step to find the black sapphire eyes for the Vergadane? What the fuck? It almost looks like I wrote vegetarian and then had a stroke midway through. <laughs> it was a weird kind of suit of armor thing that had a uh, gem. It, it literally says Ver Vergadan? Vergadane? Vergadane. Vergadane is indeed the name of the statue that you only know because the combat tracker told you. <laughs> Listen, using the prepared materials is not cheating. <laughs> And more importantly, it says short rest time. Yep. And that I'm not speaking to that bitch that betrayed my grape. <laughs> but that's that's what it looked like. Ish. I can't believe you betrayed my grape. I didn't have a choice. My grape! Too bad! Why did oh I God. even write grape? I wrote beholder like four times in the previous sentence. Because it's Omitra's notes. It was my grief. <laughs> um, all right. So yeah, last we left off, and I will um shove you guys on the appropriate map. Let me know when you've uh, finished loading so that I can shing you. Um, you defeated one, two, two. Was it just two? three? Three. There we go. Three beholders after allying with one beholder, um, and in the process also killed a statue, which. Uh... Omitra aggroed the thing and then disappeared, leaving Remy to deal with it on her own, and she nearly died. Well, maybe if you didn't attack my grape, this wouldn't have happened to you. I didn't have a choice. Well, Remy had already pledged herself to another grape. There was, there was, you know, hard choices made. I don't care. That one was my grape, and I liked it. Hey, before, oh, sorry, before we, but you would have died. Before we get into the actual session, do I hear my uh, terrible way to fix the overlays? Wait, no. No, shit, it's still wrong. Uh, fucking YouTube sorry. subscriptions are still enabled and very loud. <laughs> oh my god why do we even have that lever I, I, I don't know Carb. Yo, what's this, up? Is, this is the third wrong overlay you put on no it's okay I'm, getting, I'm working on it nope that's wrong <laughs> hi I'm Gurnberg sure. one swear. I'm gonna have to watch the recording after this because this is hilarious <laughs> no no that, that's the second one okay no I think this is the right Nope, that's still our room. Motherfucker. 
Her witch, witch and Romantic too. Witch. Oh Jesus. Okay, one more try. All right, all right, we got this. We're totally okay. professional streamers nope. here. Nope. Nope. I still got. I got one more. Run. So wrong. I'm I'm Nadir again apparently. I've uh, I've been trying to actively fix this like this entire time. I know. I've been watching and trying not to die. I'm just I'm just gonna ping you on Discord with the actual. Please one. clip wow. this show. I don't know how. Push the clip button, dumbass. Well, this has given me the time to disable the noise on subscriptions. So God bless. Ears don't explode next time. I love um, my ears. I've done it. So <laughs> we don't actually have one that has Torch, Remy, and Tethra. So what I've done. Alt X. What? For, for show. Go, oh. go on. Uh, so what I've been doing is I have the one that has Torch and Remy on cropped up. <laughs> So that the Torch and Remy part is fine, and then the older one with Tethra and Omitra. Wait, Carl hasn't made you one that has Remy, Torch, and Tethra on it? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> if only you could just make the images, and then he could just put the stupid-ass names down. We, yeah. Like, just that's, the nameplates. We will do that one next time we start a campaign. That's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. Well, we didn't expect that there was going to be that many changes. But if uh, you look at, you know, where I toss all these images on our Discord so that they're easy to find. Oh uh, yes, the giant unsorted channel with no words on things. Yeah. If so only we just had a, a bunch thing of images. for pinning things. Anyway. Everything on it being pinned. It took me three seconds of scrolling up to find it. Um. <laughs> anyway, I am Dor. We're totally professional streamers. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, we're not. Um, all right. So <laughs> the last thing that happened as we finished the session was uh, Tethrin taking 10 minutes to pop up a tiny hut in the hopes that it would protect you from anything other than, you know, an anti-magic code. And you were trying to get a short rest. Uh, I believe you may have already rolled for short rest. Yes. You except maybe Garm didn't. I know I did because I'm missing hit die and I was not this high of health. Yeah, Omitra. I can see Remy and Omitra having uh, rolled. Yeah. Catherine also rolled his Song of Rest. Yeah, I, I thought as far as I remembered, we ended on, I don't know, maybe you'll get a short rest, and I just, like, never heard anything more. I oh, I believe I said yes. You had a short rest. Uh, you also get a just plus six. Just can't have a long. Garm, because of Song of Rest. Plus six? Or plus 1d6? Okay. No. He, it's a, he rolled a 1d8 and got a six. Yep. Something else that roll twenty is good for. Roll histories. <laughs> All right. So, what are you guys doing in that hour? Fuck. Do we know? Do we ever know? Um, Remy is just laying on the ground trying to have a one-hour nap. The adrenaline has worn off. She needs to rest. Because, uh, just warning you guys, your cleric's mostly tapped out. Holders is difficult to fight. Yeah, I'm terrible at that. Uh oh. Oh, good. Grandpa's about halfway alive now. I rolled, I, some hit, I, hit the, I rolled some hit dice for Glister. Um, I could probably roll more. He has 17 of those. I thought you were you calling, might, might want to roll some more. I thought you were calling Torch Grandpa for a second. I was like, fucking excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not Romevic right now, even if the overlay had said it at one point. It's okay. It's all, it's all fixed now. Even though Cargo apparently fixed it in the past for me and I forgot. All right. Um, 
so Gr Gr Gramps uh, Dragon is no longer on the verge of dying. Uh -huh. um, should I roll more dice for him? That was already eight dice. He seems dice. fine right now. I mean, mm -hmm. I rolled nine, so. I That's... apparently rolled four. We'll roll another four. If I recall, I got my ass kicked pretty hard last session. Oh, yeah. yeah. But that's right. most sessions. Some of us have Misty stuff and Dimension Door and Far stuff. And still, Omitra's was only alive because Glister took hits for him. Also, please forgive the dog next door. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. woof. All right. Um, yeah, so are you doing anything or are you just mainly like slumping against the floor or something and trying to pass out for half for an hour? or so, or however long you're left alone. I'm gonna slump like a jump. Uh, oh, I did get the two black sapphires. Yes, you did. Yes, um, you did. Glorious. Yeah, after it was destroyed, you came back just to get those gems. Yeah, I think that was after Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure Tethryn went to help you, because, like, if we're gonna have this thing involved... they were hella expensive! If we're gonna have this thing involved, we're gonna actually get our money's worth. So, I have an important question for you all. Oh no, I don't like this already. <laughs> but Is anyone standing watch? I, Tethryn probably would, because apparently I didn't get as beat up. Yeah, I was in the Yeah, back. I was going to say, if I only used four friggin' hit dice, I'm apparently fine. I, I, I didn't use any, apparently. Show, you were mostly in the back. There were multiple turns where it was like, where's the fight? Where's the fight? Where's the fight? I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming! That no. was that was you and Torch, but Torch was just a bit less lucky about when he found yeah. it. I think you uh, also went Torch invisible. Also for... went to help Remy. I also I don't turn invisible in the middle of a fight, so. Shit, that's like a problem. Uh, yeah, but anyway, yes. Okay. Uh, then Tethryn, give me your perception check. Twenty-three. I'm a good watcher. It's true. Um, about an hour and a half after you all settle down in the security ish of the ish. tiny hut, um, you hear the sounds of destruction. What? Wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're right here. Far. You're you're behind a closed stone door, but it seems to be coming from somewhere to the south. Uh, what's that? I don't know. Should we? Does it sound? I guess sleeping is over. Car, I have some questions about the char characteristics of the sound. Is it yeah. like high pitch, low pitch? Does it sound like our fucking problem? It sounds like something hitting a stone wall and that stone wall crumbling. Oh, that could be bad. Uh-huh. Yeah, we, that we could should... be our problem, even if it wasn't before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Does then you sound... hear another one that's closer. Ah, shit. Yeah, I'll push yeah, myself Yeah, that's our up. problem! Uh -huh, yeah, I'm gonna, uh -huh. I'm gonna shake Remy if she was sleeping. No. Mm. You betrayed my grave. I'm kicking Remy. I'll push myself I'm to my feet. I'm out. Remy's wearing armor. Are you gonna break your foot? Probably. Fine, then. I'll hey, jump on you. That's that's not a funny joke. Um, I'm just gonna jump on top of your chest and then jump off. Pretty sure Remy, even if she had been trying to sleep, has a passive perception high enough to have already woken up. Also, I don't think Remy's chest is big enough to use as a springboard. No. That seems like a Remy problem. <laughs> Any whoops. Anyway, has turned into a cat. Just like his grandpa. I'll get up, you know, knees cracking. <laughs> and then you hear another... Now you actually hear across the door the sound of a beam. And then the sounds of uh, crashing stone and... Was that 
Was that structural beam or laser where, beam? Where where's the door in in accordance to us? Yeah, I'm just gonna do... so, Sorry, which one was it? So uh, so, uh southwest. This is bad. Um guys, not that you're all awake. I have one dimension door left. Save it in case of emergencies, maybe. Yeah, I have one, too. Emergency. I have one, too. There's more of us than amount of dimension doors you have. Okay, I have two. Technically. Oh, I technically have three, since my warlock spells are level four. Ah, well, I mean, actually, I might have three as well. You know, at least you get your warlock spell slot oh, back. Oh, uh, jeez. Let's uh, not... Regardless, I'm going to hang out beside the door in case it comes through the door and hopefully not directly beside the door. Yeah, <laughs> Remy's flanking the other side of the door with Torch, just trying to listen and figure out if they should get the fuck out of here. I mean, I mean there's only one the door. Only way out. <laughs> so... I know. Get the fuck out of here and, like, run the fuck away or get the fuck out of here and fight whatever is that noise. Mm. You hear a voice coming from the other side of the door going, if you don't come out, you're fighting this thing alone. <sighs> Suppose I'm going out. Let's go. Yeah, yep, I'm let's, going, we're out. going out. What the f- Oh. So you open the door and you see your friend, Zerlark. Oh, that's why I called it a grape. Mm-hmm. Is it because they look like grapes? No, it's because they look like peeled grapes. That's even worse. Yes. <laughs> look at that good art. Dark. So. Uh, let's roll initiative. Okay. Is it because I said dark? Yeah. I'm not sorry. God damn it. How is the cleric going first? <laughs> because the cleric always goes first. Quit your bitching. Just... <laughs> the cleric shouldn't go first. And wait your turn until after somebody else's. Right. Don't forget Grandpa and Portia. Hi, Earl. No. Don't do but that. most importantly, Grandpa. Yeah, but most importantly, Grandpa, but also Portia. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't, you know, lose his cat. Yeah, I'm just going to stare at him and say, you be a good kitty cat. Oh. And knock something over. Yeah, he's not going to be a kitty cat for much longer. For yeah, Paul. You get stared at. All right, the API was crushed. I am right. respooling that. Actually, I'm going to pick up the kitty cat. Uh, if if he turns back into a dragon, you will be a squished <laughs> Omitra. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I have plans. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, you go after. Her. Oh All no. Right. Well, currently he is still a cat, which is good news for you and probably means that, you know, the beholder isn't looking at you right now. Uh -huh. And in uh -huh. fact, uh -huh. your friend beholder is looking in the other direction. Um, which direction? He's looking um, down the corridor to the east. Okay. Uh, uh. And as you open the door, he says, "A quick found the last." I thought we killed the last one. Nope. Well, there were five. Cool. Oh. Keep keep your eye open then. And Remy is gonna step here because at least our beholder friend is making sure magic is uh not an issue yet. But unfortunately, that makes Remy basically useless. Um, and I still can't see an enemy. So I will hold a sacred flame if I see an enemy. Okay. But I, I can't do anything, so I'll just hold my attack. Okay. Gramps is a three by three. I love how we just renamed him. Like, eh, his name's too long, Gramps. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> Remember how slow these things are? Yes! Why are you not in a square? Motherfucker. Ah, there we go. Alright. Can he see? Eh. Let me just turn on vision for him so that I can check. He can barely see his opponent. Which unfortunately means his beam is deactivated. Um... Sorry, not right. his beam. His eye rays. Yep. So he's going to move forward. I don't expect this to work, but I'm still going to try. Sacred Flame, because that was the trigger of an enemy showing up. And nothing happens. Yeah, I figured. I had to try. <laughs> you are now in the eyesight of another Beholder. It is beholder versus beholder time. And now I need to double check. I think there's still enough walls for Gramps to still be a cat. Question is for how long? If he steps forward, not long. Yeah, there's still enough wall to stop the I beam from working on Glister's uh, so it goes, it goes through walls. Ugh. Yuck. Thin walls, at least. Thin walls. It is Glister's turn. Um, do you still want him to just, like, stay on top of you? Oh, no. Are you gonna right. eat him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Glister, are you gonna be a good kitty, or should I yeet you into the hallway? No. Um, wait, I can talk in this form. What exactly <laughs> are you, uh, suggesting here? That I chuck you into the hallway so you don't get stuck in here. I can jump into the hallway myself. Yes. Would you make it before you aren't a cat anymore? I have no idea. How far can a cat jump? I honestly expected you to dimension door him into a bigger room. I could dimension door him into a bigger room! <laughs> Problem is, would it work in this room, though? Do you want Glister to hold his turn until you go, Amitra? I, I could suggest to him. I could poof you into a bigger room. Holy shit, cats have a speed of 40 feet. But get your own damn paws and walk. <laughs> have you ever seen Earl run? Yeah. When he's got the zoomies. Uh, 40 feet will put him underneath your friendly... Um... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so no, I mean, two not. birds, one stone. No, that's the friendly, not the not the not friendly. Yeah, but he wasn't my grape, so I don't give a shit. Yeah, he's the grape that's in between... That's nullifying the other grape's beams. At the very least, you should Still give a shit about that. Grape. Yeah. So what do you want me to do? Hold action or... Go ahead. Okay. I Because I looked up cat, I just found out that I have the stats for the animal lord, comma, queen of cats. Alright, so kitty cat is going to dash forward, and as soon as he rounds the corner... Well, that's one way to measure where the eye beams start. <laughs> he transforms back into his full dragon form pushing him slightly forward because he was in Splorch Beholder's space and there's a lot of awkwardness there a bit as uh, floating eyeballs uh, get smooshed into the ceiling for a bit Squeeze. can I just say that poor other Beholder that He's moment like, of no, no, oh, no, 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 no Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Beholder just like looks up and goes, "Oh, shit!" All right, Listen, and these things happen. Glister is so done. Oh wait, he can't use lightning breath if it's. Wait, no, didn't I say lightning breath is a? Yeah, it's not magic. Natural weapon. Yeah. All right, cool. So we're gonna lightning breath this fucker. 
I had 73 lightning damage. Just me. Never mind. Oh, uh, where? Dexterity saving. You know what? Behold. Oh my god, I rolled high. All right, so he saved. Still. So nice. So he takes 36 damage. And is very unhappy. Tethrin. Well. I can't really do much because the moment I walk into his eye beam, oh, there they are. One, two, three, four, five. I can't. Can I even see him from over here, or do I have to be over here? Because I can see him myself. Uh, One. you can One. see him. He's yeah. He's. You have glister in between, but I'm it's probably short wind. enough. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have sneak attack on this because my freaking mask is technically magic. So I'm just going to hand crossbow. Can I shoot his eye out? Well, you definitely hit. And that's all I can really do because... All my other good shit is magic. That's the hard I part. I wonder how fighting. that feels. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna behold. I'm gonna have to refresh roll twenty, by the way, because it did a stupid thing. Uh, whole, whole party of magic users fighting a bunch so, of So, does anyone want to guess how many weapons I have that aren't magical? One. A dagger. Zero. Taru got it right. Oh. I apparently arm. don't have a crossbow or a short bow or anything. What have we learned? Awkward! Well, the good news is you're currently not in the Beholder's eye stock thing. Um, mm -hmm. So you could dimension door somewhere where it's not facing. God damn it, roll 20. Okay. Why? All right. And I know Glister turned into a not cat here at the start of yeah. Beholders. Yeah, right underneath the Beholder. Mm. Though you also know you also noticed that Remy could not fire her uh, sacred flame. So I have the the sun blade which gives off some light does the light go off yet or is it still glowing it's flickering all right so one two three four i can't see it yet though yeah there's just a corner wall so it's you're barely like you're in the malfunctioning area because the some of the beam is getting through the wall. Oh, son of a bitch. Do I know how wide the beam is? Um I don't think you've gone as far as measuring it, but mm -hmm. you guess it's somewhere between 30 and 45 degrees. Okay, so it's not like 90. No. Alright. Even though it's been months since I myself have seen the room, stupid ass Omitra has seen it before and knows where he is going. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take a step back where I'm definitely not in the I-beam. Okay. And ask the uh, trader of grapes if the other beholder is in the room or in a hallway. That's you. Yeah. You? Oh, sorry. I was like, what? Ah! Uh <laughs> Actually, yes, the great in the trigger. middle. Uh, so half in the hallway, half in the room. Alrighty then. 
I'm gonna make poor choices. Oh no. Uh yeah, okay, quick and spell is two sorcery points. Sweet, I did save enough. So I want a dimension door behind the other one then. Okay. And see if this works. You dimension door behind him. Does he turn to face me or not? He cannot change the angle of his cone when it is not his turn. However, All right. I'm still in the other cone, I'm sure. You are still in the other cone. I was going to say, can I uh, can I use my uh, my bonus action to to poke him with a dagger? But I feel like that's a rogue thing. Yeah. Dimension door is an action. Yeah, you need a. Oh, I thought action. you quickened it to make yeah, it I a you bonus it too. Oh, I could have done that. That way, you could have held your action and told the other beholder. No, because then you need the bonus to hold the action. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Yeah, oh, I you need your reaction. reaction. Be fine. I might need that. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Honestly, but I am gonna get this. Uh... I swear to God, I have another weapon. Where did it go? Anyway, right, I have a short sword. All right, I'm just gonna take out my my short sword and hope it doesn't turn around. Okay. Portia is once again whispering to herself, and this is how we all die. Oh, calm down. We've done this three times already. Is this the one I'm shooting? Not the one right in front of you. Okay. Further down. Great. On the, other, on the other side of the big dragon. All right. She squeezes past Zerlark. And gets as far as that with a double move. Torch. That's me. Uh, I would like to double move to here. Excellent. Oh, and I'll take one step forward. Also, I can't get OBS Capture Opera, Opera today, so we'll have to see Roll20 looking a little bit more stuttery than usual. Um, that's something to do with Chrome, not Roll20. Right, and that's my turn. All right, so this guy can't use his eye rays. And can't really do anything else, but at least he's keeping the other Beholder from using its eye rays on you guys, and that's pretty much all he's going to do. Uh, Remy. Okay. Magic's out of, uh, option. So, uh, 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 Remy's just going to go here. And try and whack the beholder with her quarter staff? Question mark. You have advantage at least. That's okay. literally why she went forward. Okay. Twenty-two to hit. Uh, ignore the fire because she can't do. But I have it programmed because I didn't think I wouldn't have green flame blade going. So just eight. Okay. And then she's just going to step here. Mostly so Blister can bite if he wants. And she All doesn't right. get in the way. So at the end of your turn, Glister's going to remember he has legendary, legendary actions. actions. <laughs> <laughs> and use his tail attack, which is something he can do. That's a 16 to hit, which fails. Uh, he has advantage. He does. I rolled a nat one. <laughs> <laughs> RDM's rolls, everyone. Yeah, the only reason that we've survived this long. All right. Lanouche feels fucking pissed now. He's got someone behind him. And a fucking dragon in front of him. And he can't use any of his rays. Clearly, he has been led into a trap. He's just gonna bite Remy. Me? Does 15 hit you? God, no. Great. 
Well, beholders only get one bite attack. Which is fucking bullshit. They can do three eye rays or one bite attack. Yeah, but they've only got one mouth and they've got like a bajillion eyeballs. It's true. That's exactly how um, that works. All right, let's see if lightning breath comes back. Uh, I will point out Omitra is literally right there. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. He's going to lightning breath it. It's fine. It's a five foot wide line. Oh. It goes right beside Omitra, and Omitra's hair is now flying with the static. <laughs> <laughs> and this time the beholder fails and takes 66 lightning damage. Damn I actually so close. averaged that. We were so close to 69. Yeah. It's a possibility. Uh, the average of the roll for Lightning Breath is 66. All right. Well, I think he's good where he is. He has reach, so he doesn't have to worry about getting up closer. So, um, that's right. Is muted. I know. I'm. Tethryn's just going to go here and just kind of shoot through since it is mostly wing. Mm -hmm. Whoopsie! Uh, uh, through the wing, huh? No! Through it. Wing. No, not through it. I'd probably get jammed. <laughs> <sighs> Listen. It was gonna happen sometime. I'd rather it happen to the one who only has one attack and not a bajillion amount of damage. Alright, are you done? Yeah. Oh, me too. Oh, sure, I don't get advantage. I didn't think you would want advantage from you. You apparently don't like me anymore. Oh, I thought you were Torch. Wow. Yeah. Don't need your stinking help anyway. <laughs> that hits. Thank God. Five piercing. Okay. Okay. I I thought I near I took the five from Mitra instead of the. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Sounds good. Everything is fine. All right. Uh, Portia is definitely thinking. That she's just gonna get eaten. Um, this is just her life now. So that's all of them hit. That's a lot of mouth. Luckily, um, Earl 20 has functionality to make things go faster by doing numbers for you. So close. <laughs> so close. Um, this beholder had less than 68 health left. Fewer. <laughs> it's okay. He's dead. We should see if we can get them to add that to their official slogans. Well, Zerlark looks at the, all of you and goes, Will, looks like you've rested enough. You look healthy. Um, thanks for that. I absolutely knew that it was going to go great if I lured him towards you. So, uh, if you become the head honcho, does all your skin fall off? Uh... No. I think they call them the chief eye stock. They don't really have heads. The top sock. Well, no, but oh, I so... thought it was a skeleton beholder before. Yeah, another skull. 
That only happens if you're paranoid enough. Okay. Oh. I have an important question, though. We're going to leave you here in your new lair, but if we have to come back through here, will we be allowed to just pass through without we don't bother you, you don't bother us? As long as you don't mess with my minions and my uh, traps and all that and pay proper tribute. Proper tribute. What would you consider a proper, proper tribute? Oh, I don't know, like a thousand gold per person. Can we just kill him now? Uh, this uh, seems easier. Yeah, <laughs> Tethryn's just like eyeing him up, like, hmm, how how injured does he look? Uh, buddy. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, we do. Her have Petra a... definitely said that out loud too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, and Teth Tethryn is not being subtle. Yeah, counter offer. Um, we don't kill you right now, and you let us through forever. Otherwise, we come hunt you down and rip your eye out. Or we'll make you paranoid enough that all of your flesh will fall off of your face. Or we'll rip your flesh off of your face. Maybe Ooh. that's how it happens. No. Oh, I was gonna be like, Glister turns around and you can see the electricity building up again. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's it's in the best interest of you keeping this lair and being the master of this place to not mess with us now or in the future. Zerlark so, so look, looks over the fact that suddenly he realizes you're all behind the giant dragon that seems a lot more healed than he was earlier. Um, you're right. That's a good offer. Um, I will keep this level clear of obstacles for you. Thank you. And in exchange, we mo won't mention to anyone else, unless you want to, that you live here. That way you can have your lair and no one will know you're here so you can surprise everyone else. Very well. Now go. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> have fun. Well, and we know direction? the way out of here, right? We've been here. Yep. You're yep. you're uh, basically around the corner of the stairs that go up to the next level. Mm. Yeah, I got teleported from a trap and ended up basically at the entrance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get into teleport position so I can. See I, I was gonna say it. If it didn't look like they were going to honor their promise, Tethryn totally would have walked over to the other one and just kind of casually stabbed the main eye and looked at them. looked yeah, back. Hey, both hey guys. Tokens. Guys, hmm? th that dead beholder, if I take its eyeball out and I stand in it, beauty will be in the eye of the beholder. Uh. <laughs> Ew. Hey? Hey? Ew. Ew. It's okay, I appreciate you. <laughs> we could, we could probably mount a mirror in the skull of a beholder and sell it to a noble woman using exactly that line. Oh, oh my, my god. god. For so much. Like, uh, just give it an enchantment aura so it, like, looks magical. So should we have the uh, dragon... Oh, should beautiful. we have Glister become a cat again? Or, because it looks like they might... Wind up having to squeeze. No, considering what level we just landed on, it might be good to have Glister there for intimidation. <laughs> I don't know. We, he, I, from what I remember of this level, is he going to fit? You actually remember recall seeing giants on this level, which are about as big as a dragon. Okay. All the halls in this in this one were like twenty feet across. I'm, I'm going to let Glister know that so he can uh, stretch. Okay. After Ooh, big stretch. <laughs> so are you sending Glister first, or are you guys bringing up... No. Are you letting him bring up the rear? Grampus can get the rear. Yeah. It's okay. more intimidating to have the dragon behind us. Yeah, because then it implies that the dragon's listening to us. As opposed to we're oh. being captured by the dragon <laughs> or just dragon minions. Oh, wait, isn't this place where we? Yeah, I forgot about this place. 
<laughs> oh yeah, where was the cool shit on the way in? Cool shit? Yeah, uh, you, you told me there was like some Mecca? magical or some shit. Well, this is level 14, isn't it? Yes, it is level 14. I do believe you passed through a couple of doors that may have been magical. I think Garm's excited. We passed the skeleton hand with abjuration magic. It's on a giant disc above a door. They have the same symbol as Azrox people. Uh, yeah. The guards' names were Baz and Griffin. Oh yeah, and then we reduce kick the door in. Yep. We do that a lot. Uh, yeah. So the first thing you guys come in, come to is the two stone pillars that flank the doors going down to the next level. These two stone pillars are each carved with dozens of lidless eyes facing in all directions. Now, perhaps you realize why. <laughs> it was a warning. I kind of want... I, I'm very disappointed that we didn't actually like take some of the eyes. So that even further intimidation, just kind of like toss a couple down. Gross. Hmm. And then, yeah, there's two hobgoblins that are flanking a door that see you coming up from the stairwell and kind of grab their weapons and go, who goes, oh god, that's a dragon. <laughs> Most people do. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, wait a minute. Are, are these the same guards as before? Probably. They are yeah. not. Okay. Um, but they look at the four of you and go, aren't you the ones that killed Doom Crown? Who? And the other one goes, oh shit, yeah they are. And he starts knocking rapidly on the door behind him. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, they're going to summon their dreaded leader, Penny. Shall I? Penny. Yes. I would like to Eldritch Blast him in the back. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to go into initiative. <laughs> Damn, we're going right for, the, right for the fucking violence right now. Uh, yeah. Apparently. I asked. There's a reason we, we air this late at night instead of at 7 a.m. on Saturday. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, hey. This would have been fine in the 90s with Ren and Stimpy. That's true. I, I feel, <laughs> I feel, I've never watched that show. What? It's um, all right. I wasn't You're missing allowed a lot of fart it. jokes. Yeah, I don't like fart jokes. So, shockingly, my mother hated it. My dad thought it was hilarious and let me play it whenever it was on. <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't allowed to watch that. It okay. was one of the like free shows. This okay. guy. <laughs> Sorry, play D and D. I forgot. Um, this is literally D and D. We have a dragon and our in, in a dungeon. dungeon. Yes, this is literally D and D. That's it. That's the name of the thing. <laughs> Does that make me win? Maybe I'll have the logo scroll down here. <laughs> <laughs> Production. All right, this guy kicks the door open and then turns around with his long bow and shoots at Umitra and does five hey, piercing damage. Karu, why did he go before the three people who rolled better than him? It's a good question. Oh, <laughs> because cause you guys were waiting for, well, we're, uh, uh, I'm not sure why. <laughs> okay, Tethryn, it's your turn. Thank you. Okay, well then. I was so excited. It was like, hey, they go first. Hey, hey Karu. Mm. Hold on one second. I have to find a thing. He had moved to the door, though. Because that's what started the combat. <laughs> are we the bad guys? Oh, boy. Yes, there we go. We are Wait, absolutely. Did he open the door yet or not? No, the door is not open, so it's not going to hit the other two. I don't care. You that's don't fair. know they're there yet. I'm just like, mm, nope. I'm, I'm not going to That's overkill. Rolling. Yeah. You roll your damage. Okay. 
I think. Oh. Oh so well. Severe overkill. Not quite enough. No, I mean, if they save, they still die. Um... Oh. <laughs> Oops. They're hobgoblins. What do you expect? I know. They All right. were hobgoblins. <laughs> we roasted the two hobgoblins by the door before the door gets opened. <sighs> You know, we could have just talked to them. No, nah, he was about... You're pretty sure whoever's behind the door did hear the... Oh, that's... Rap, rap, whoosh. <laughs> yeah, let's see how smart they are. And, and whether or not they want to open the door after that. I'm done. Catherine, what the fuck? Garm, you're muted. Unfortunately. Uh, I admit, I admit I'm kind of at a loss for words as to what to follow that up with. Um, I will accidentally use the ruler. No. Instead, I will. <laughs> Come on. You can do it, me. There we go. I'll move up to like there ish. And be like, ah, uh, hello. We. What the fuck are we doing here? Why are we here? Just going yet. through! Right, yes, we are just passing through. And. Um, uh, we don't just let us go through. I recommend it. That's my turn. I it's been too long. I think long. we should go north, Torch. Just cool shit that way. That's probably true. So it's, uh, it's been too long. I can't do Wait, torches. Is there, back, a, so. is there a passageway? Oh, I guess I'll find out. Was our passageway down south? You know. came from the south. You were escorted. Uh, uh, mm, we were escorted from the south. The, yeah, from the south to this area. I and thought we were escorted off. from the north. My bad. Nope. Okay, never mind. Torch, we're going south. Good. Wait, I, I knew that. That was gonna happen. Two. Four. And I'm just going to hold a volley of Eldritch Blasts for if somebody opens the door and looks menacing. All right. Well, in another timeline, he would have taken his longbow and hit Omitra. For five, yes. Cancerous? People say that about me a lot. So shall I compare thee to a charcoal flame? Is that cancerous? I mean, it's smoke. It it also, is... depending what what's in the charcoal. It is probably known by the state of California to cause cancer. And so is everything else. I'm the door opens. What it were. Oh boy. Yeah. And a female human what? peers through the door. You know, humans, they're like elves, but with round ears. Yeah, that's lame. <laughs> Does she look terrified, annoyed, angry? No, she looks very, like, calculating as she kind of studies the group of you. Do we recognize her? Okay. Just passing through, you say. <laughs> yeah. That was in the back from the hobgoblin. <laughs> Is that the hobgo like a hobgoblin behind her who saw his butt? He's just charred burned to ash. And then... <laughs> <laughs> well, that sure was something. Yes, we're just passing through. One of my friends is trigger happy. To be she fair. Looks, she looks at the dead hobgoblin guards. Do you know how much those... You know, I don't have an eternal supply of them. Really? Given the rest... Sorry, are you sure? Given the rest of this dungeon, somewhat, it kind of seems like you do. Wait, don't you? I thought there was a, a lich here. 
as I furiously scroll to know if I know that. Yes. She does not often come here. That's probably then for the best. why'd you name... If she doesn't often come here, then why'd you name the whole damn floor after her? We did not. She did. Well, this yeah, is but you her can name it something all. else. Do you really want to rename it and piss off said lich when she comes back? Yes. Classic. Well, lovely to meet you. We'll just be on our way. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sure you will. Y yes? Go on, then. My want to let all your friends know to just, like, leave us alone. Because, again, I have this idiot who's trigger-happy as hell, and Remy just points to Tethryn, but at the same time, she knows Glister is also behind Tethryn, so it's kind of also a, hey, we have a dragon with us. Yeah, Tethryn's just going to point his wand back and be like, hmm. -hmm. And Remy is basically going to walk this way. But as she's walking, she's watching this lady and also looking behind her to see what else she can spot in the room. Fun fact, I don't think she can see Glister right now. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, nice. her vision is that bad? This is going to be funny as shit oh then when he walks into the light. God. Oh my yeah. god, absolutely. He's on the limit of her dark vision. She's and she's just a human. Vision. You said she was human. I mean, yeah, totally. She can't see him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because <laughs> All right. she might only be able to see Omitra and Torch. I'm loving that yeah. nice human token, by the way. Yeah, Actually, you I... know, Karu, Remy uses the light cantrip all the time. Uh... That's true. That's, you could, you could it's drag safer it to, to have more than one light. You can drag it to your token. Right, I forgot about it. Listen, it's been a while. Um, I know, I had to go find my drift globe. <laughs> I didn't bother with the last floor because of the anti-magic cones, so. So, uh, so are we moving on? I'm just waiting to see what the drift globe, I mean, the light from Remy's cantrip is letting her see. You look into the I'm room. just going to move back. This is where she was. Yeah. So, uh, definitely... well, to the north, you just see more corridor. So, not much yeah. there. When you, you're trying to peer into the room, right? Oh, yes. Um, behind the human at the door. And yeah, absolutely. It's a it's human on the token. Uh huh. It's a beautiful human. Um, <laughs> behind the human female is another figure. And this one absolutely is a hobgoblin um though he looks more imposing and in charge mm -hmm. he does not however look like doom crab okay so remy just nods as she walks and looks at the lady and then looks at the guy who's behind her and is like yeah please make sure to tell everyone just to leave us alone it's safer that way Bye! And just in case... Uh, I'm gonna hold a Sacred Flame just as a... If someone attacks my teammates, that's a no-no. Okay. And I will attack them. Alright. Portia's going to follow your lead and start heading south. And then Glister comes interview. And you see the human uh, female that's looking at you all kind of like turn to look and just her mouth opens. <laughs> uh, right you are. Just continue along and you don't bother us and we don't bother you. You're a very smart woman. Thank you. Um, double checking what Glister. Oh yeah, Glister can move like all day. Um, Would he move that far ahead though? No, he's just gonna go like, like there. 
and just just keep an eye on you know those that are inside that room well you know it's been a while since anyone saw a dragon so maybe he just wants to be admired for a bit right there's Stretch also the whole totally convenient line of lightning if shit hits the fan <laughs> Man, this dude's oh. name is Rutro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Rutro, indeed. Amazing. Yeah, uh, Remy, you have a high passive uh, 25 uh, insight. 25. Um, you see that the guy behind was like grabbing a like pouch that you recognize now is like a component pouch and was getting ready to cast the spell. Now that they've seen the dragon and where he's positioned and everything else, you just see him like drop the like ball of guano back into the pouch and just cross his hands watching you all pass can I just say at this point Remy just does the mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I see you <laughs> can't be fucking subtle to Remy <laughs> yep Tethryn's just gonna walk by to get up with the rest and all right at this point you can tell they're not gonna start a fight cool um so if none of you are going to fight we'll just drop initiative so you can keep walking south yep if they're not attacking us i'm just gonna gonna go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right so you can go you can continue so with uh <laughs> glist bringing up the rear it probably has a lot of battle scars and blood and shit given everything that's happened well not like little shit i mean I, yeah remy would have helped clean his scales if he wanted yeah yeah we have like an hour and, and a lot of presentation <laughs> he was a cat at the time but i suppose you could have just helped him clean himself up uh -huh. um would listen if you really can transform wanted... yourself between forms, one would think you could transform into a cat and all the dirt that used to be on a giant dragon would fall off. All right. So at the end of this corridor, branches uh, west, east, to the east, <laughs> to the east, to the east. To the east. To the east. Is what uh, the detect magic that Omitra had earlier when they passed Ooh. through here. Uh, there's, a, there's a set of double doors to the east. And above them is a four foot diameter, two inch thick disc of black stone. Upon which is engraved a white symbol depicting a bony human hand. And your detect magic had revealed an aura, a powerful aura of abjuration magic. Catherine, Catherine, what's the thing? Squeak. It's the cool thing I saw. What's the thing? Oh, hey, Karu. Do I recognize that, uh, that image? You do not. And you didn't last time either. Can, can I presume it might be have to deal with the lich like lich's lair do not enter possible no. does you do know that this... hmm? do i recognize it yeah do i um because i don't think last time omitra was able to point it out to everyone since we were being yeah, escorted we're just walking by okay uh if you've studied the dungeon itself nope Nope. And you okay. said it was just like a skeleton hand? Yeah. 
is it like in some symbol or is it just like one of those little kid handprints smoosh it on the yeah it's just okay. a like just a bone hand and it's like not a statue just a kind of looks like a giant coin yeah it's a giant coin with a it's a giant black coin with a skeletal hand in the middle all right so either it's hazardous materials or a weird brothel Either way, good times for all. I'm going to go listen at the door. Okay. I do Can not want to get close. Place? Also, bold of you to assume brothels aren't hazardous materials, too. <laughs> they are. Well, that's why they supply protective equipment. Uh... <laughs> I like you. Zio probably does not share your affection right now. That's okay. Huh? What? I'll just say you probably don't appreciate my jokes. We're done now. Oh, that explains why I tuned out for like 30 seconds. Oh, I thought hey, that was like a conscious thing that you had to do. No, apparently it's a very passive thing. I know Garm's gonna start joking and um, <laughs> just God. everything turns off. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I turn we off do women. love you, Garm. I turn women off. It's what I do. <laughs> oh, can we get an F in chat? <laughs> Could you roll perception? No, no, I think we all agreed that none of us had studied the dungeon. No, no, but no, no. Uh, I want to. I want to listen in at the door oh, with sorry. my average of a seventeen. <laughs> okay uh 17 faintly ever so faintly you can hear the sound of a harpsichord harp harpsichord harp harpsichord. Death harpsichord. Thing. Harpsichord. harpsichord uh the sound of a harpsichord being played uh hang on a very nice uh slightly romantic melody like the kind that you would want to dance with your uh with a companion to what what there's music what get over here which one's not not quite at it but listen it's the it's the kind of sort of not piano it's a pre-piano where if you hit a key, you cannot sustain the note because you just to whack the, the string, uh. which is why uh, Baroque and classical music used pauses so much. It was literally the only way you could get like Pure notes. tonality or yeah. voice into a piece because you couldn't just hold the note longer. No, it should have got Foth. Mm. <laughs> we have Foth doing the, the, the piano music in the background. Um... Okay. So you both I, I'd like I'd like to listen and see if I can recognize the song itself. Uh give me a perception check. God. Twelve. It is very faint and the uh harpsichord does sound does not seem to penetrate very well. Um you can tell it's like classical music, but you can't tell more than that oh bullshit i'm a bard was it i'd like to start humming to see if i can yeah uh, is it the same you? song I that was playing when we got the scroll of speak with dead or whatever the fuck it was raise dead raise dead shit is it that's really a good question because it's the only other musical thing we've run into. And it actually would make a lot of sense. It is not the same song that was played on the other harpsichord you found. Though you're beginning to think maybe harps harpsichords are something that either Halister likes or just collects because this is the second one that you've yeah, those heard of. Those aren't cheap. <laughs> yeah. uh, perhaps we should continue on and leave whatever music box is over there alone. Yeah, but the last time we got a cool scroll. Yeah, but this one has... Mm, yeah, and... Floor of a lich. 
I know a little bit about statistics, and I know that that means the next one's going to kill us in some way. What? Okay, but we're coming back later. Yeah, I want to know what, what that song is. Yeah, we can ask one of the scholars in the surface world, as they call it. Something about Torch's personality seems off after all this time. <laughs> all right, so you continue walking uh, mm -hmm. down the corridor to the west. Yep. You pass a set of double doors to the south and uh, two single doors to the north on this diagonal route and another one to the west. We also found another drip globe at some point. Remy's. Yeah. No. Drift will have been light, have the same icon. Um, yeah. It's the same it's the same aura. I just thought it was one of the ones from a previous instance of uh Omitra. Nah, that'd be funny though. It's gonna happen at some point. Oh yeah. Oh, I try to remember to delete you guys. Man. Hey. Remember when uh, when this worked perfectly fine and didn't stutter a bunch? That was a cool week. Oh, it's because I fucking updated Chrome. That's fine. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, you get to the entrance, and there are two fire giants and a host of hobgoblins waiting for you. Mm -hmm. What about this door? Well, do you want to list? To it? There's four doors in this corridor before getting oh. to the main entrance. Do any of them look different aside from one's a double door? Like, is there any decorations or anything like that on them? That's a good question. Let me see. Like, does one of the doors say, cool shit here, loot me? <laughs> Wait, no, that's 39. Uh... So the double doors look pretty fancy, like slightly not as fancy as the double doors that you were listening to the music coming from. Mm -hmm. um, the first door to your right, as you come along this area, uh, has a sign on it that says do not enter. Ooh. Yoink. No. And from the and this door over here to the uh, west, the last door to the west, you the door is actually slightly ajar and you can hear shouts of goblin coming from within. Um, your typical like taverny sounds, but in goblin. Yes, shush. Well, it sounds like a good time to ignore everybody. And uh, do we want to get in a in a in a goblin bar fight? No. Yeah. I kind of want to get in a goblin bar that's, fight. That's too bad. Wood torch. There's nothing no. on the last door. The last door. No, nothing. Nothing special about that door. No noise, no message, no nothing. Okay. Why that, that one has more shadow on it, you'd have to ask the artist, and the artist probably wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> the artist only just noticed it now, and it is bothering the artist. Oh, well, that's too bad, isn't it? It sure is. All right, and then you come to the main hallway there, and he, yeah, you can tell they've been told about you, because they're just, like, staring. Hello there. Get the fuck out of here. This is one of the larger stone giants. Fire Rude. giants? So, yes. uh, where's the building going on? You don't need to know that. 
do any of them like look in a certain direction like glance and then glance back they only look at you Never mind. Keep it moving. I mean, if we need to get back, we can always, like, smoosh them all, I guess. Amitra. I don't okay, think we can smoosh most of them. What's the statue in here of? Um, so... Our statues. Sorry. The statues in here used to be, be of uh, proud-looking dwarf warriors. Um, the statue to the west now has stony pseudopods sprouting from it. The statue to the south appears half melted. Someone, someone decided to play a bit with the statues. Was that us? No. Okay, cool. They were like that the last time we were here. Yep. All right, so we, we go out. Probably. You do see, see. Uh, and this was something I missed when I made this map. Um, uh. In the center of this room, there's like a pile, piles of scrap iron that they seem to have been like sorting through. Oh. Hmm. But they've stopped now that you are here. here. God. So, uh,. I would like to study the scrap iron to see if there's anything special looking in the pile as we go. Mm, what do you mean by special looking? Like, that I could draw, or that, say, if we used locate object on it, we wouldn't get, like, ten bajillion hits on it. Mm. Give me a perception check. Eighteen. Okay. Um, you're trying to be discreet about it, right? No. Okay. <laughs> so you're staring at this, and and the you can tell that the g giants aren't all that happy about this. Um, and the first one, the first like odd thing you find is this piece of metal that looks like a like a crab claw and you're like that looks pretty unique and then you see another one and another one and you're like okay well that won't work then you see something that looks like a mechanical eye stalk kind of like a beholders but just like made of metal and you're like that one and then you see another one it doesn't look Um, whatever this is pieces of, it seems that they were all crafted, like, uh, something was crafted en masse, destroyed, and then ended up on this level. Um, hmm. yeah. Wasn't there another level? Okay. Hmm. Well then. Do, 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 do. We're just gonna keep walking. Alright, so you get past all that and get to the outside area where, again, the artist forgot to draw something in there, but um, there are two um, rock formations flanking the doors. Mm -hmm. Um... They're just stalagmites that flank the double doors. Are they natural? Seems like it. Though maybe they weren't formed just on purpose so that they would flank the doors. Now, is this the level that had the giant, like, worm rut yep. going around? Yeah. As you go deeper into the cave section, um, 
the area already where uh like this sorry where's my arrow this area here looks to be well worn down with a okay. track mm -hmm. so what would you like to do Lower. I I mean I'd rather not linger too long on the one that has the mechanical. I think it was a proper yeah. worm, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, let's not linger. Yeah, this thing. Mm. Yeah, that thing could eat glister. That thing's fucking awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just don't want to fight it right this minute. I don't want Same. to fight it. Uh, no, not right <laughs> this minute. Alright, so where are you heading then? Uh, uh, so which way is to the next level up? Well, one option would be to take the cave where the worm comes from. Which you know theoretically should take you to a level that you guys skipped. Um... The other option you have is going past it, and on the other side you went through some squeezy caves and got to a uh, one of the gates. I vote skip uh, level. Yeah, but remember we have like very few skill slots left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I think Omitra would recall where that gate goes to. Because Omitra has brains. Uh, brains. <laughs> Ironically, if we went there, we might not. Um, that particular gate takes you to within a short walk of House Freth's um, oh. stronghold, where Nadir is technically in charge. Oh yeah, love that well, place. We could sleep. <laughs> that's weird. So you yeah. could be welcome there. I would there. suggest going there for rest and then... Yep. And then coming back. Yeah. Did you okay. have to pass on, we can give to Nadir to pass. Including the dragon and the other girl that you're with? What? No, we're keeping the dragon. We're keeping Glister. Oh, I thought you wanted Glister out of the... Uh, out of the dungeon, not wow. as your companion. I mean, we could. Mm. I don't need another babysitter. Yeah, that, that's why I want to keep him. God damn it. <laughs> Besides, so... don't you want to have some good old familial bonding? I know we've all got stories to tell. Okay, so you're taking the gate? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna describe the great the gate and see if any of you remember what the gate I'll does. Open it. Yeah. All right. All right. So you get to the gate um, past an area that used to have carrion crawlers, but now is just glowy fungi. Um, the gate is a pair of standing stones with an inanimate minotaur skeleton embedded in each one, facing each other. I'll remember how to activate this because I don't. Oh. <sighs> Sounds like Give somebody me a does. moment. Mm -hmm. Hey, Torch! <laughs> old friend, old pal, old buddy. I'm already concerned. <laughs> As you should that be. Time when you touched the stone arch and you went away for for a little bit and then you came back oh. and it was fine because you apparently didn't get lost. I feel like every I feel like every time I do something like that, it goes hideously wrong. Yeah, I remember this one. Yeah, there was like a labyrinth or something. 
I feel like you're leading up to a point. No, that that's what happened last time you oh, touched yeah. the arch out of character. Mm. You, you touched it, got ported to like a labyrinth, and then poofed back. Oh yeah, was that the? Were there minotaurs? Yeah. But like you apparently did it real quickly. Oh yeah, because we were like tracking somebody. We were tracking uh, Tefran's yeah. mentor. Uh-huh. Everybody else was mm-hmm. like, "Oh shit, we should you know dither around for three days instead." And I'm like, "Well, minotaur time." Is that where this goes? Is that what's yeah. uh uh-huh. oh. yeah. Yeah, that place sucked. I'm okay, touching I'm that touching again. Okay. Go nuts. <laughs> Wait, so who touched it? Both of you or did Omitra go first? Omitra, please be my guest. I... Apparently Omitra. Enjoy the bane. It has been a while. Oh yeah. Oh no. That was a one on a D one hundred. Well, nice knowing you guys. <laughs> Is Omitra banished to the far plane? I think it's um, just a higher low. Uh Omitra, can you give me a better roll uh, than that? Sure. D twenty. Average. Well, slightly below average. Ten. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> can, oh. No. Can I just say one thing? Mm-hmm. Karu, can I have your luck with the D100s when I want to do a divine intervention? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So a symbol flashes as um, Omitra touches the arch. That symbol. Hmm. It's too complicated to explain how, how it looks. Honestly, I... Like a heavily stylized spider with a backwards S on its back. Honestly, I was thinking of a minotaur head that's on fire. It's both ice and fire looking. Mm. Well, there you go, guys. Um... It's one of those three things. Or all of them. Or none of them. Who knows? Now, the effect that is going to affect Omitra is something only Omitra knows. Oh no. <laughs> yes, give it to me. Give me those sweet, sweet whispers. Karu, I need to know if we both touched it at the same time. Would this have happened to both of us? Probably. Thank fuck. I think this is the first time somebody who isn't played by me has been affected by a bane. I'm well. just watching Omicha very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Uh, you can't watch Omitra because Omitra, the moment he touches it and the symbol flares, is transported away and disappears on you all. Ah, shit. I'd like to touch the thing. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, you do get a save. Let me see what save is it. If it's wisdom, you're fucked. Oh no, you don't get a save. Okay, never mind. You are teleported. Um, So the rest of you just see Omitra disappear. The arch is still closed. Omitra, you appear inside uh, another corridor. It's all made of stone. There's um, passages to the east and west of you. Looking down each, you can see branches off of those two areas. Can you give me an intelligence saving throw? What? No. 
Oh my god, no! I got a three! You start walking through this place and quickly realize it is a maze. Can you give yeah. me another intelligence save? Nine. You quickly realize that this place is not just a maze. It is a very difficult to navigate maze and you are getting lost. I've never gotten lost. This is amazing. Uh, uh Oh, me try to give me another intelligence save. I'm gonna be here for a while. Ten. Okay. Uh, by this point, the rest of you have been staring at the gate and the lack of Omitra for 30 seconds, and Omitra has not reappeared. Omitra, give me another intelligence save. Oh, I've been 18 seconds, thank you very much. Right, I can, I can count. <laughs> All right, keep rolling intelligence saves. <laughs> my god. Oh my god. We got one. Um that was the how, seventh one. Wait, how many It's 1 minute is 6 turns. No, 10 no, turns. 10 turns. 10, ten turns. turns. Okay. So before the minute is up, you actually managed to roll the DC is a 22. <laughs> Amazing. That's fantastic. 22 is the most I can roll for that. You literally needed an at 20 mm -hmm. to save. Mm -hmm. All right. So you start, you know, you know, like, no, you got this. You're good at going through dungeons. You just have to map it out. And eventually you find the exit and you go through the exit and reappear by the gate, which activates. See? Easy, guys. Well, uh, good job. Yes. Was that a hacking mini game? Do Omitra just go through a hacking mini game? Yeah, basically. Jesus Christ, okay. I would also <laughs> like to just shake my arm like I'm trying to get something off and then go through the portal. Um, well, that looked like a totally normal thing. Yeah, I I'm gonna follow. Yeah, I'll There's follow. Light. All right, don't move because I'm gonna copy paste you all. Cat, can you let me get to the copy paste function? Thanks. No. No. It needs attention. Now. He's a very cute Earl and he is very hungry. He's hungry. Meow. He's wasting oh. away. He's never been fed in his life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, will, he will pack his tiny little rucksack and, and walk along the trail. <laughs> Stop that. But why right. does you exit. Girl? Let's abandon him. You exit the portal and are in uh, another dark cave. This one's slightly browner than the last, so you know you're on a different level. Oh yeah. The walls. Too. Yeah, mm -hmm. we've got the like spider silk wires. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. Cable. Mm -hmm. The spider cables, yeah. Uh, hey, Glister, can you turn yourself into anything or yeah. any? What's the cutest thing you can turn yourself into? A cat? All right, I want to try and freak the deer out, so don't talk when we get to him until you can creep the crap out of him. Get, get... Oh, never mind. The dragon magically polymorphs into a humanoid or beast that has a challenge rating no higher than its own. Oh, he's got a pretty high challenge rating. I was oh gonna yeah. Say, uh, given that he is Omitra's ancestor, surely the cutest thing he can turn into is himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's the prettiest, not the cutest. Oh right, my mistake. Yeah. Besides the, uh, there's a lot of really tight areas here. You, he does not think that that is a good idea. 
So what do you want Blister to transform into? I'm just saying, he could turn into something and go, Nadir, Nadir, I found this while we were down there. Can I keep it? Uh, up to you. I mean, any beast, so pretty much any animal that he's seen, and you know for a fact that he's traveled. He's an adult bronze dragon. A ferret. A ferret? I hate you. Tube snake. Tube snake it is. I think we established this before, but when he talks in, like, a non-humanoid form, does he attempt to, like, do some lip syncing, or does the mouth just open and spew words? That... Or is it completely mental? Um, I think we went with he just talks like normal and it looks slightly off because he's an animal and they don't have lips, but... So he tries his own lip syncing, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's like watching uh, Final Fantasy Advent Children. Sure. Oh god, does, he, does that dragon have human teeth? He doesn't have human teeth, right? Better not. You guys hear this? Oh, he stopped. He was chirping at a bird. Carb, yeah. um, what CR is Glister? I'm just 16. curious. Oh. Oh. Um, I'm gonna say a uh, beast that he could turn into is a swarm of spiders. You cannot transform into a swarm. Oh, that would have been funny as hell. Yeah, you can't take swarm forms unless you're the druid circle that allows that to happen. You have to be a single creature. All the single creatures. <laughs> Finally, a D and D magic choice that doesn't make me question everything. <laughs> There's a lot of um, dinosaur options: octopus, mastiff, a lizard, a killer whale, murder bird. Um, is the T-Rex under 15? No. That's 17, isn't it? Uh, but he could turn into... Oh, no, T-Rex he could. Oh, CR8. Yeah. What? CR8, yeah. What? Really? I I'm looking at the roll 20 shit right All now. Right. He could also turn into a Triceratops. Like, oh, I... This is gonna oh, be God. beautiful. Tethryn is gonna be like, hey, so, can we see you know, I wish I could turn into... <laughs> Yeah, like, he needs to have seen it, but they definitely went into the jungles of Schultz with well, Moonstar. With her well, Henry. so have fun with that. Yeah. Wait, I, I, um, can turn into a flying you? snake! <laughs> Are you guys heading towards the towards fortress? Where we, found, where we left Nadir, yes. Alright. It was more where he left you. Listen. All right, you get to, well, you get to the entrance, and you get yelled at by um, a drow, going, "Who goes there?" from the top of the tower. Me. That is not an appropriate answer. You well, tell us. Let tell Nadir to get his bitch ass out here. They know Nadir. I... My name is Torch. We I gave come... that motherfucker a castle. Also, we come peacefully. Oh, it's that group. Let him in. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a bit of a reputation, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. Also, I smell rain. A bit. Thunderstorm might be coming in. Uh -oh. oh, it definitely is. Jealous. It's pretty dark here. Yeah, there's I, a storm coming in here, too. I'm so jealous. Alright, uh, you are let through into the courtyard. Um, and I guess Nadir, Nadir, someone goes to fetch you for from wherever you are. Great. <laughs> you know, at this point, I'm probably with this sister. So, she's and you're just like, oh, they're here. You're coming too. And she's like, I guess. All right. Well, Nadir shows up, I guess, mm -hmm. with his sister. Yep. Kind of raises his eyebrows. 
Yes. You rang. <laughs> Look what I found. Mm. I pulled up my ferret. Is that? How did you get a ferret in the? It you was know, craft. I'm. I'm gonna I'm... keep him. <laughs> Ferret's just like holding on, being all cute. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. I have to check something really quickly. <laughs> Listen, Nadir is my higher. Oh, I know. <laughs> Nadir is frowning right now. <laughs> there, have you switched what? back to Nadir? Oh, that's not. Per I didn't mean it to be perception, but it's the same as my insight. So Nadir is just going to be like, "What is that really?" Oh, sigh. I set the ferret down. This is my grandpa. The ferret just goes, "No, really, I'm just a normal uh, ferret." Yeah, yeah, you tell him. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> well then. I, I think that you might be lonely. So, I'd like to conjure as many ferrets as that allows. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because Nadir knows <laughs> that Omitra is being a little shit, so he's like, well, okay, here. Have a little shit back. <laughs> So eight ferrets show up. <laughs> oh. Unless you did it with a higher level spell, in which I can do it one level higher than that. So sixteen ferrets. Yeah, sure. Sixteen ferrets just show up and start scrambling around. Completely overwhelming um, the ferret that Omitra had, and um, just um, uh... all right, Gramps. You might want to be bigger now. But what if I squish them? Ah, they're squishing me! Uh, and he turns into his like humanoid, slightly elven form. Actually, it's not slightly elven. He looks pretty elven, even though I don't have a token for that. Let's just mm -hmm. go with that one. Well. Mm -hmm. I hate to tell you, the ferrets are probably climbing all over him now. I just helped try and take the ferrets off of him. <laughs> Dude, they, they will wiggle out of your grip and go right back. Yeah, that's true. That's so, my life now. Yeah. It Should I hurt way. him? It is concentration. I could probably do enough damage for him to stop concentrating on the You'd spell. kill him. Yeah, he's probably down. kill him. He's old and frail, much like me. Who, Nadir? Oh, sorry, I thought we were talking about hurting, uh, I mean, Lester. Nadir is 144. It's like so, baby yes, old. old. He's like, alright, alright, fine. And he just transforms into his full form. <laughs> ah. Well. Poor Nadir, sister. See? Not gonna squish them. Yeah, they're, they're probably climbing all over the dragon's wings it's now. Like, I'm not sure this is better. <laughs> <laughs> just Nadir's eat some just of gonna, them. Nadir's just gonna wave his hand and they're all gonna go because he's gonna drop concentration. <laughs> is he dropping concentration because his jaw is also on the floor? I mean... He, he looks like... This is my life now, isn't it? Uh, no. his sister has been watching, and once he transforms back into a dragon, she has this, like, calculated gaze as she stares at him, and he's like, that might be just what we need. Mm. Huh? Is it destruction time? I knew you were my favorite. I know when you say calculating, you mean, like, intellectual and, you know, thinking things through, but I always imagine the gif of that guy from The Hangover, like, doing the math in his head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where he looked like super out of it the entire time. Mm -hmm. Or the or the lady doing the same thing. Y'all know. Well, oh, should yeah. I tell this group what's happening, or should you, Nadir? You Is may. it destruction time? Come on! Since you left, since the destruction of my sister, we've lost about half our forces. House Avendar has taken back the level above us. 
and are demanding our complete and utter surrender or else they will obliterate us and we cannot really defend ourselves against the minotaurs who are also being a problem and if we want help from the avandars we need to swear fealty to them and i'm not sure i want to I don't Wasn't know what Nadir thinks uh, about this, but I think Nadir was uh, in favor of swearing fealty to the uh, Avendars, right? Yep. Yeah, so they've been kind of like disagreeing, and she's like, no, we should hold out. Hold out and lose even more. Yes, but now we have a dragon on our side. Ah, ah, this dragon is not on our side. It is on your friend's side, so therefore yes. it is on our side, isn't it? We didn't agree to fight your battles for you. Clister also goes, I'm not an it. <laughs> My apologies. Your name, good sir? Clister. What? Does Nadir recognize that name? Yeah, have we mentioned that? Because Nadir, Nadir, Nadir has been up and down from the surface to Undermountain quite a bit. Did Remy mention Glister and her task to the group? I feel like she mentioned it to Nadir. She only... mentioned it vaguely. She never mentioned a name or anything. Okay. It was just she's down here to... She has a job besides Omitra, and that is to save a dragon. But she was pretty quiet about oh. what she was coming down for, partially because Omitra is obsessed with dragons. Uh, but wouldn't she have mentioned it to or around Nadir? He didn't really have been... time to. Mm. At most, she would have just asked him, hey, do you know a level with the Shadow Dragon? And the answer was no, because it was a lot farther than Nadir had ever gone. Yep. Yeah, you did ask Nadir about that. Yeah. Could I give Nadir an insight check to uh, see if he can mm. put two and two together? Yeah, I'd say you have enough... Oh. evidence to be like oh this is this is what remy was down here for uh, nadir is just gonna give remy a nod and be like well congratulations on succeeding on your task it's not done yet we gotta get glister up to the surface then Glist it seems that this dragon cannot fight our battle and i wouldn't want him to anyway we do have the other offer and now she's kind of eyeing the magic users in the party. What's the other offer? Halaster said he was willing to help us if we could find a mage that could do a ritual. What ritual? Oh, ho. One that he would teach you. I'm in. Uh, no, 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 that's yeah, a bad yeah. idea. Th Tethryn is like looking at Torch. No. I don't know if I have ritual casting. I do. Twice. I'm real mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorcerers, nor warlocks get ritual casting. I swear to God, I will take like a level in wizard if I need it. No, you can just take the feet, ritual caster. You can take the feet, yeah. Oh my God, I hit 12 next sorcerer level. <laughs> he said he would give us the ability to t to summon the demon to work for us. Nope. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. No. I mean, oh, what's in it for him? Entertainment, probably. Sorry, Garm. It's okay. So what you're telling me is, I could learn from Halister. Wow, I really can't nail the accent today, huh? I could learn no. from Halister to summon a demon. What's the downside? It's a demon. Uh, I'm still well, looking for the downside. He seems to be looking for an apprentice. You know. Absolutely not! Do you know what happens to the majority of Halister's apprentices? You should. We killed one of them. Hmm. You can't just go summoning demons for Halister! Perhaps. Uh, I shall hold off for now. Ugh. 
for now? Well, if I'm going to kill him, I need some kind of aim. I can have a lot of them named after none me. Of, none of you are summoning a demon. Absolutely not. Yes, just think. There could be a level named Torch's Crucible. Uh, or Torch. Torch, have you been secretly evil this whole time and I'm going to have to kill you? No. <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with you. I'm not going to go summon demons for Halister. Do I believe uh, him? I have no idea. I am completely fucking up all of my depiction of Torch today. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. Also, I'm getting a little bit spooked by the storm. <laughs> it's fine. It's yeah, fun. you yeah. seem to get the storms about half an hour before us. Uh, yeah, also I can smell wood smoke, so the combination of there's lightning and I can smell smoke. Um, mm, yeah. A little weird. It's doing things. Yeah. 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 Um, so is that a no, then? None of you want to learn how to summon a demon? Absolutely not! Well, you just see pain in Omitra's face as the <laughs> I can't right now, but I would love to. Remy is just glaring at Omitra. Apparently <laughs> I'm going to have to learn that from somebody else. Uh, is well, if we can't summon a demon to make the the to make the minotaurs worship the demon and become our allies, then we're probably going to have to make sure that they don't manage to summon Baphomet but and I'm kill so all of us. Excuse me, what? I'm sorry, who? Uh, Wait, this is from Tethryn, like, mm? Hallister could teach me to summon Baphomet? This guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> and Baphomet can teach me how to read! Uh, even I less know. certain. We know for certain that the minotaurs on this level are trying to complete a ritual that, according to them, will summon Baphomet, their god. Halister says that he can summon, he can help someone summon a Goristro and make them think it is Baphomet. Uh, Tethryn's just gonna kind of hold up a hand and be like, "Wait, wait, wait! Do they look like?" And then press to digitate a small image of the one one of the demons that they've that Tethryn has been a part of killing. That I'm pretty sure we have killed Garistros before. Yeah. Do they look like this? Yeah, I think you have fought Garistros. Several. Remember those statues? The ones that nearly killed us. Yeah. Yeah. Can't keep pop an image out for those of us that can't remember shit all. Uh, if I know how to spell the name. Good luck. Good luck. I mean, Good luck. perhaps we could infiltrate the Minotaur so, camp and I kill their head priest. I'm okay with that part. We we can't let them summon a demon. That's bad. You're okay with me murdering priests. That's cool with you. Cur Someone who worships Baphomet, yes? G-O-R-I-S-T-R-O. You know, there's a text chat that might make that easier. I know. I know. But I had well, to go. Know, I, I don't think you have fought them then. Yeah. Yeah, we you have fought to. a Glabrezu. Mm. Can't believe we'd get these things confused. <laughs> but this is what a Glabrezu looks like. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember that motherfucker. Yeah, that's he not He grabs us dead. I love that he has normal human hands and also crab claws. <laughs> Reminds me of the uh, the mechs from Appleseed. Yeah, because oh, I, I searched G-O-R and only came up with something else that is not a Goristro. <laughs> really? Because that... Huh. It's like a mascot costume. Cat. So Cat! How soon do you need to make a decision? And uh, Remy they had how... started preparing the ritual when you all left. Oh, lovely. How soon can you get a sending? Remy? Theo? Theo? Sorry. Keyboard was being dumb. 
uh, uh, when can I what what? Have sending. Uh, I would need to have a proper rest and pray to my goddess. Why? Because I feel like if we're going to get messed up with a uh, curly-haired drow, we should possibly consult with one. Oh. Babysitter number two needs to uh, get advice from babysitter number one. I could do that tomorrow, yes. Unless, well, no. I was going to say, it won't be faster going there ourselves. No, I mean, we do have arms. Nadir with us. Nadir knows his way pretty damn well. He could get us to Skullport. Yeah, but that would probably involve going... Or that would involve going around the academy, wouldn't it? That's the fastest way. And... Didn't we I... use a portal to skip the academy completely? Mm. Yeah. Um, well, okay, so this is where things and, like, memory starts playing in. You guys walked to this level um, from the level above. Mm -hmm. But you got to that level via a gate. Mm. Um, and that gate... That's level 12. With the mage who are, we are not ever going to his castle because he will murder all of us? Yes. Wait, why is he going to murder all of us? Well, I know why he's going to murder me because I'm a wizard. We, we also broke his helmet. Oh, I mean... the floating mansion. Uh-huh. Yep. Beedy beedy mansion. The fuck? The what? Hold up. Uh -oh. oh, I'm looking. Wait. What? I'm on the wrong level. That's what's happening. <laughs> Good job, bud. <sighs> Are you in the wrong level again? Confused. No, I'm on the right level. But if I'm reading number 16 doesn't say anything. Weird. Rip. I'm reading the wrong level. Again? I'm reading the wrong level, looking at the right level. I was looking at the wrong handout. Mm -hmm. That's why they didn't match up. I was like, but this description doesn't match the map. Alright, so the one in that level skips f like four levels, and yes, Zio is correct. It goes into Madgoth's castle. Yeah, let's not. And Madgoth's castle was just and now, uh, like, maybe three hours away from Skullport. So that's how you got down here. Yeah, sending would be faster. Mm -hmm. So if you walked, you could probably get to Skullport, assuming Magoth doesn't murder you in, like, by the end of the day. Uh -uh. Yeah, we're not going to assume that with the amount of spells that we have. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> we fucked up his castle, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, and his helmet. Oh, yeah, the helmet. Yeah. I'm going to point out, we didn't fuck up his castle much. The fey dragon that was hoarding all his shit into a single room fucked up the castle. We just took his helmet, and someone dropped it off the edge of the castle, and it lost its magic. And we know the location of his castle, which no one's going to want, because he's like a wanted mass murderer of, uh, the everybody. A lot of mag magic users. Um... Classic mad goth. <laughs> but, but yeah. Yeah, so that's that's the state of things. Other than that, you're you basically have to at least make it up to 
which you probably, well, you'd have to find the way, but you'd have to get up to level 10, which is where the House Alvandar is, and House Alvandar also has a, um, a, a, a portal that goes up quite a few levels, I believe, to Willowwood. I can't remember. But either way, and the other I one. say we should rest here, get sending in the morning, ask babysitter number one, and if they attack in the meantime, we eat their faces off. Sounds like a plan to me. Uh-huh. Remy, don't you have, like, actual babies to check up on? No. The, the There's no that baby here. The oh, yeah, yeah, there yeah, is. That... Yeah, there is a baby there. No, I well, didn't that... we? No, we sent we the baby the and our father yep. to to the surface. Oh, to the surface. okay, yeah, then you probably made it to the surface yeah. by now. Yeah, the baby the doesn't exist. There. There's no babies, but is there anywhere I could get a pint? Well, how am I supposed to get rid of my babysitter then if there's no babies? Alcohol? We we do have alcohol. You have booze? We have mushroom booze, yes. Never good. tried it. I'm willing to try it. Okay. So I'm are good. you all taking a rest here in the... I mean, it's safe. Get so drunk safe first. Well, safe-ish. Watching. Okay. Right, so you spend the rest of the day drinking, catching up, and then long resting. And that's where we'll go on break. Uh, actually, slight revisement. Due to weather, by which I mean the tons of lightning around me, uh, that's <laughs> where we're going to call it for the night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Thank you for watching.